So what's up everyone? Again, sorry for no uploads this month. Work's just really been busy and I don't really do YouTube full time. So in my spare time, I do these videos for you guys. And I finally found time to do this really special video. But before that, let's have a quick recap on what's happened so far for 2021 just to prep you guys for this video. Let's go! Mm. everyone, I'm Byron from the Philippines and I've been wanting to share with you guys this setup for forever now. Uh, the unboxing video came way earlier and I'm actually an IT graduate from the Philippines so I'm really really excited to share this one with you guys. As an IT graduate, I really like looking into tech and buying tech that really helps me on an everyday basis. Especially now that I'm working from home, I can just see how all of the gadgets tie down together from the webcam to the ergonomic mouse to my great display over here and I just can't wait to share it with all of you. So maybe we can start this off with the desk. I got this desk from my friend Derek and everything was customizable from the length to the width and this is an electric standing desk so I just have to click the buttons here on the side like what you guys saw earlier and you can access your preset heights for the table which I find super convenient especially when you're sitting down for such a long time. I opted for the black option because I feel that black is a color that really ages well in my opinion and as you guys can see you put anything on a black table and it automatically looks amazing uh, from my white speakers that give it contrast to my white keyboard and my gray mouse uh, it's just super easy to buy gadgets for a black table in my opinion so next up, everyone keeps asking me about this. This is a product that really uh, ties in the colors of my products really, really well. Uh, this is the IKEA leather desk mat. I think it's called the wrist life, I'm not mistaken. And I got it from an Instagram store that sells IKEA stuff. And if you're the type who just likes taking down notes, having lots of post-its or receipts from your wallet, this is the perfect desk mat for you because this thing on the side is actually liftable and it's magnetic where you can just slide in your notes and stay organized since this is a productive desk setup. And if you're really really into details. There are some stitches here on the side which is white that contrasts the black. It feels like a really well made leather product and you'll absolutely love that if you ask me. Alright next, how can we ignore the elephant in the room? This is actually a 5k by 2k monitor from LG and I got it from Amazon. It's a really really pricey monitor but I do use my monitor for such a long time. Uh, my old one actually lasted me for over five years now and I feel that this is just the best investment since I'm working from home and I'm actually editing all of these other videos on the side. I feel that 34 inches is just perfect for me. I feel like the 38 inches or the 42 inches is a little bit too big already. I did opt for the non-curve option since I find the curve a little bit too immersive for my productive workflow, especially when I'm working. I feel that curved monitors are just generally better for gaming. But besides that, I actually got this monitor since it doesn't have any bezels. It's near bezel-less and there's no LG logo here at the bottom. Instead, they placed it here on this premium looking stand that's actually plastic if you watch my video on the unboxing of this. This monitor runs on Thunderbolt that's connected to my Mac Mini which I have lying on here. I super duper love this Mac Mini since it feels like there's just this slab of aluminum lying on my table and it's a workhorse since this is the M1 Mac Mini. Uh, there's absolutely no lag when I do my video edits and when I open apps it's, it just happens in a snap. And I'm actually not so particular about waiting for my videos to render out since I can do a bunch of other stuff in my other setup. But there's just something so seamless about this M1 Mac Mini wherein while I'm editing or while I'm exporting my film, I can just head over to Safari, open some keynote tabs and there's absolutely no lag. It's so amazing. This time I actually went for the Mac Mini instead of the MacBook Pro which I've been buying for years now since I'm pretty sure that I won't be going out of the house anytime soon. And the Mac Mini is just the perfect 
perfect affordable option when you just know that you're not gonna be carrying a MacBook around out anytime soon. I feel that this pandemic, especially here in the Philippines, no lying though, I think here in the Philippines, it might take us a couple of months or nearly a year just to start the vaccination process. We're probably not the priority right now, but yeah. So 10 out of 10 would recommend to get this M1 Mac Mini and not actually wait for the M1X since that might actually be too pricey for everyone. All right, so now let's take a quick break and let's head over to the peripherals, which absolutely ties everything together for this desk setup. head to the peripherals of this desk setup. So I've had a lot of energy already, so I decided to stand. Uh, let's move from right to left. So first up, we have the Audio Engine A2 Plus. And I'm actually super duper jealous from my favorite YouTuber, Justin Says, since he's been rocking these for over six years now. And I just decided to purchase it now here in 2021 when he's been having it since 2016. So it just clearly proves that it's a good buy. Uh, I got the white option to contrast the black. It's sort of this Oreo domino type of feel. And I had to get the overpriced stand since the bass is actually really, really strong for the Audio Engine A2 Plus that you have to elevate it just so that you can hear everything perfectly. And in my opinion, I've been using it for two months now. Uh, when you're in the middle of this table, you just don't feel that the speakers are actually pushing out some sound. It feels like uh, you're actually immersed into the sound and you don't feel so much static going on. Another 10 out of 10 for the Audio Engine A2 Plus. So next, uh, right to left, we have the gray MX Master 3. And I actually came from the MX Master 2S. It was the perfect mouse already. When I saw the 3, it actually took a lot of convincing for me to take. Maybe it took another desk setup for me to actually buy since I actually still use my 2S on the other setup up on an everyday basis. This is actually really, really perfect since there's a brand new horizontal scroll wheel. It's a giant piece of metal or aluminum now, and it's just so much easier to edit with it. And I didn't go for the Mac version, which was really, really tempting since I'm using all Mac here, uh, just because it would blend in with the black and I wouldn't want that. Next, uh, we have a keyboard that can't go wrong. Uh, there might be a lot of bashers, but I chose the Apple Magic Keyboard 2 that charges in lightning. Uh, super convenient in my opinion, but I am thinking of changing this out for a mechanical keyboard already, which I'm currently building. Video will be up around a month from now, so uh, keep watching. So next, we have this Native Union USB hub. So this has a walnut and black finish, and if you tap it once, the light at the bottom will actually show yellow. It's kind of weak already, but I guess it's not really supposed to catch any attention at all. Then if you tap it twice, all of your cables are supposed to pop out here, but I haven't set up my cables yet. It's actually a really simple setup. You just have to twist and pull. And all of the USB cables can be plugged here. And I got the one with the USB power delivery option so that I can charge my gadgets via Type-C. Uh, it's actually discontinued already, this one. Uh, but they do have a newer version with a different design. It's not wood anymore, and I think all of the ports are on Type-C already. So if you want to go for that, maybe I'll leave it down in the link below. All right, so next up, I actually forgot about my plant over here, so come check this out. I have an algae living in my setup. Algae, algae, I'm not actually sure. But I did go through a lot of plants already for my setup, and all of the plants just somehow die. And you can see it throughout the course of my videos. It just switches out and in. So I hope that this one actually stays for a longer time. Uh, this algae also lights up. So if you twist it over here, it's gonna light up and it switches colors. Uh, very peaceful, very relaxing. And I actually named this one Match since it reminds me of my matcha. And I absolutely love matcha if you know me. All right, so let's just leave it here in the desk lit up. 
So I got this from another Instagram store. I'll try to link them down below. And I got it from a friend. So thank you for my LJ plan. And up here, we have the Logitech Brio in 4K. Uh, I've actually tried to do a video on this. Actually, two videos already on why I actually got the Logitech Brio 4K. And I was actually rocking the 1080p monitor for the longest time. And I kept telling everyone that this Logitech Brio was going to be an investment since I'm going to be upgrading to a 4K monitor sometime soon. And I guess the time has come. It just sits here on top of my monitor and it plugs through the USB behind the monitor, which is really convenient. But there's nothing much else to say. It was a plug and play, really, really easy to use and super useful for all my meetings. It's actually Zoom compatible, so it's actually really, really HD in Zoom. Maybe 9 out of 10 for this Logitech Brio just because of the expensive price tag. And I think that wraps it up for this video. Kidding. All right, so my desk setup, you think I've mentioned everything already, but there's actually something in the back waiting for us. So let's check that out. Hey guys, so now we're here at the back of the setup where the Philip light bars are and I don't know why I'm whispering but I got some really nice light bars here. I got the white option and if you guys want a pair for yourself, feel free to message me on Instagram. I can surely hook you guys up with one. And I have another gadget here which I almost forgot to mention. I have my Google Wi-Fi which I got uh, so that my entire room has fast internet. This is a mesh Wi-Fi so I think that's pretty future proof for now with the slow internet here in the Philippines and I actually got one for this desk setup just because there are times where you just have to plug this Wi-Fi straight to the Mac Mini for better connection. Yeah, so that's it for the back of the setup. Let's end this video at the front. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I made it up to you guys. I hope this was actually a nice video after we edited everything out. I've been really busy with work and aside from that, I'm running this tech business. I'll link it down below if you guys want to support me and if you guys want any of these tech products, I'll surely be offering it. Again, this desk setup took a long, long time for me to achieve. Uh, I've put a lot of thinking into it and I've actually done a lot of research on these gadgets. So don't feel any pressure at all when you're trying to build a desk setup. So if you need some help with that, uh, just hit me up in the comment section down below. Again, we're back for 2021 and I'll see you guys on the next one.